All right, let's get some nerdiness going on here on my Facebook page. I've got a standard stock photo of a computer with a black screen, and I am a code company. I want to have some code on that screen, so let's click it. Let's download that. Options, download. So we downloaded that image, and now we're going to take it into Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop. I've got the image open. I'm going to go back over to my browser. This is my website. I'm going to steal this code. View source, shift, command, four. That gives me my uh, screen capture tool. Taking a picture of that code. Back over to Photoshop. We're going to take that screenshot and we're going to drop it into Photoshop. And now, I don't usually have in reality a white uh, editor. I usually have the you know the black screen like the matrix is kind of it's it's nerdier to have a black screen I'd say so let's get this to look like it's on a black screen and to do that this is my layers palette and this is my other tool palette here I'm gonna draw with the M tool I'm gonna create a marquee around this guy and let's fill that with black option delete oh need a new layer bam option delete filled with black let's drag that under the code layer and then on the code layer we're gonna highlight the code layer and we're gonna go to difference did that do anything no exclude Did that work no what's going on put that over maybe make that the difference that's pretty cool exclude subtract what one was it I don't know let's make that one normal again normal and this difference. Why aren't you working? Hmm. All right, let's see if the black layer, what happens when that's white? Yeah, we want it to be a white layer. So scrap that, we're gonna make this a white layer. Highlight it. So now we're gonna do Command Delete. Makes it all white, now it's the difference, that makes sense. Now we've got a much codier looking uh, bunch of, bunch of uh, information there. I'm going to hit Command D to delete it, or to, to lose my selection. And I'm going to merge these layers. Apple E, bam. Apple T to transform. And now I can drag this thing around. I'm going to line up this corner to that point on the computer, and then I'm going to hold down Command, and I'm going to grab this point, and I can just bend it however I want. I'm going to find that corner. Same thing over here. I'm gonna get that corner holding command and I am going to bring it over to that part of the computer and then command again. And let's find that part of the computer. And I'm gonna hit return. And now it's on there. I don't like that white border very much. Uh, how can I fix that quickly? Let's grab the L tool. And we're going to delete that white border by clicking just inside where it is. And then shift, command I inverts the selection and then delete will delete that white border. Shift, uh, option D, that gets rid of it. Still got some up here. Let's zoom in and make sure we get rid of all of that, that white. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, D again. Actually escape will get rid of that. Let's trim this little bit off. So this will get rid of that little annoying bit of bit of white on the edge. Delete. Uh, Command D. And now I'm probably going to want to edit that in again. Command T to transform. Oh, but now we've got the full thing in perspective. That's kind of cool. There, that's pretty good. Actually, this corner's not so good. There we are. Return back out and that looks like code ladies and gentlemen we probably don't need full opacity so let's hit the letter V on the keyboard and then we're going to mess around with the opacity of that layer and to do that we can actually do it over here so here's my opacity select I can change it from you know 0 to 100 100 looks kind of flat if we bring it down to maybe 80 that looks like it's 
it's blending in with what the computer had before. That's actually pretty cool down at 50. So let's do like 70 seems to be pretty good. Now let's save this out. File, save as, we're gonna save it for the web. Uh, escape that, we're not doing save as, we're going to save for web. Here we have our two up dialog box. And let's look at the two up, zoom out. Actually, let's look at it like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, I want to probably reduce the quality because 199K is pretty high. What can we get away with? Go all the way to zero, it looks all artifacted. So let's bring it up a bit. Usually yeah, around 100K is where I like to tap out. So let's save that, give it a name. Uh, comp with code. Save that. Switch back over to Facebook. How do we change this Facebook image? Change cover, upload photo. Huh, where did that save to? Probably the last site I was working on in the images. Comp with code. Comp, 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 comp. Huh. Where did you save to? I'm gonna go back into Photoshop and see where that saved. It saved to downloads. Did it save to downloads? Why would you save there? Let's see. Yeah, it's there. I found it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why it would go to downloads, but now I have it on the desktop. So, upload photo, comp with code, open. And now that computer's gonna have some code on it. Pretty cool. Let's bring the cover up to about there. Yeah, that's fun. Save changes. And now we've got some code on our computer. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Have a good one.